We left there at 9 o'clock in the morning and went straight to our King George waiting mark at St. Leonard's. The water was glass, just brilliant. As we got there, there was no flow at all. It was top of the tide, so King George didn't play the game at all. But um, yeah, we were chasing squid and Julian was trying to get some barracuda which actually just showed up around the boat. I managed quite a few squid and all of them on a solid black chick. Not long after, some yakas popped up under the boat and yes, we managed to get quite a few of those. In meantime, Julian managed quite a few barracudas on metal slug, but we needed to shift our focus on King George Whiting. As the water started to flow, quite a few boats just turned up. They knew the action was about to start. the boat leather jackets everywhere and just above them lots and lots of yakas. Patience was the key. Lots of people would give up and move somewhere else but we end up staying in the same spot and just wait. Leather jackets will pinch my bite quite often, but that was part of the game. And just after lunch, it started. Julian got his first King George Whiting. It was on a ready stink and rig, actually running rig. And um, yeah, it was loaded with a pilchard and um, squid cocktail. Straight after that, another hookup. This time, Yaka. She actually took a running rig. Normally they will take Paternoster top hook, but this one wasn't fussy at all. From here on, we got very busy. When I got home, I checked the underwater footage and all I seen, it's yakas and leather jackets. But against all odds, we were catching King George Whiting one after another. Thank you. 
teamwork was very important. I was cutting the bite and loading all the roads. Julian was just bringing them in. Most King George Whiting, but some Yakas as well. Then, what do you know? Squid on Paternoster Rig. It's not common, but it does happen. Under the boat, still very busy. I was getting the burley ready, which is just ship pellets, and then I mix them with tuna oil. I normally just put them in my burley bucket and just drop it just underneath the boat. That was bringing the leather jackets and the yuccas right underneath the boat and then we were casting 10 meters, well, five to 10 meters away from the boat and getting all the King George whiting. Definitely small fillet of pilchard in combination with a little cube of squid, that cocktail worked the best for us. real action started just after 2 p.m. At the start, there was plenty fish, but they were only 30 to 32 centimeters, quite small, but they were lots of fun. Later on, some bigger fish turned up. We managed quite a few close to 40, but only a couple over 40 centimeters. Very quick we manage our bag limit and yes, we left them biting. Amazing enough, we managed to catch all that King George whiting, even there was millions and millions of yuccas and leather jackets just under the boat. 